And the last one. So what we're going to do, ladies and gentlemen, the main important thing, again, is determining the least common denominator. So when we're determining the least common denominator, again, as I mentioned, guys, it's very, very simple to just say, oh, you know, whatever the two denominators are, and that's always your least common denominator. But as you guys remember, remember when we had uh, 5x and 3x cubed, or 3x squared? Just multiplying the denominators is not always the least common denominator. So anytime you guys see expressions that you can factor, for instance, this trinomial, factor it. Simplify your expression before doing adding and subtracting. So here I have x squared plus 3x minus 10. In this class, we talked about factoring. What two numbers multiply to give you ne negative 10, add to give you positive 3. Anybody have Jill? Did you get it? 5 and negative 2. So therefore, this can be factored into, instead of writing this as x squared plus 3x minus 10, I can rewrite this as the factored form x plus 5 times x minus 2. Now, why is that so important? Because you guys see that the denominators already share an x plus 5 and an x plus 5. So their common denominator obviously has to include an x plus 5. And it just needs to include an x minus 2. And what's nice about that is now, when I go ahead and find common denominators, I don't have to do anything to this one. Because it, it already has the common denominator. right? Otherwise, you guys would be multiplying you know, trinomials and binomials, and it gets crazy. So over here, we'll just multiply by x minus 2. So therefore, when I do that, I get 3 minus 4x divided by x plus 5 over x minus 2 minus 2x minus 2 over x plus 5 times x minus 2. Yep, I'm, oh, 4, thank you. Now, I will tell you guys that when you're doing this, you are going to want to, again, as I remember I talked about when we're simplifying, I like to rewrite this as an addition problem. So I like to distribute the negative. So I make the positive, and I change the terms. I rewrite this as an addition problem. So now I change each of these terms. Now what I'm basically going to be doing is combining my terms. So I have um, 3 plus 4 is 7 minus 6x divided by x plus 5 times x minus 2, where x cannot equal negative 5 and x cannot equal positive 2.